Hey, Fats, how are you? Okay. Did Are we to believe that for this space you've unblocked PPE? PPE was unblocked in Vegas when he apologized to me. Oh, okay. I was not aware. Yeah. Yeah. Just stand by for a minute. I'm messaging with him right now. Stand by. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey, Donna. Hey. How are you, girl? Mm. <laughs> He's it's trying to up. sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit fed up. Don't really want to talk. I ain't moved for talking either. All right. We'll just let you listen unless you just need to jump in there. How about that? Yeah, I'm just feeling a bit flat. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. I'm sorry to hear it. that. We're going to give PPE a few more minutes. He's just running behind a little bit. And while we do, I'm just going to give a little bit of background. Um, back in December when Donna and I were in Vegas, at that point I still had PPE blocked um, because he had not apologized. And Fats, I know that you were in the spaces back then when he treated me rudely first in Kenna's space. And then the very next day, when he said some pretty horrific things in spaces that I just, you know, not about me, but about someone else. And, you know, I just took a stance. And um, so then in December, when we were in Vegas, he approached me and apologized and um, all is good. And honestly, I think it was only about a week or two after that that he disappeared. And I was like, really, PPE? Because, you know, now we're just, because um, many of you will remember, he and I used to host spaces together a lot of times. I would be his co-host or he would be my co-host. So um, it would have been nice to even do spaces again with him um, in some capacity, just because uh, we used to have fun. So anyway, um, he's supposed to be, joining us here in a minute and um he's running late um software i don't know if you want to come up and i'm going to send you a request anybody else that would like to come on the panel please send us a request it's just so much faster that way hey brandon hey how are you doing sherry i'm good how are you i'm good good Good, good, good. Um, go ahead, Brandon. Brian, you might shy again. Maybe go out and come back in, Brandon. Um. All right, let's try Brandon again. I hope everybody had a nice Easter. I got to spend mine uh, weekend with all three of my kids in Washington, so it's been a it's been a lot of fun. Go ahead, Brian. Oh, sorry. So, so um, Eric, what time does do you think Eric's going to join us? I don't know. Um, he sent me a message. He's just running a few minutes behind, so I'm assuming it's only going to be a few minutes. Right. Um, just waiting to hear. Go ahead, Fats. No, knowing Eric, he's waiting until there's a big enough crowd in here. <laughs> you might not be wrong. <laughs> you might not be wrong. Um, there are a few anonymous accounts down there. I know. Oh, yeah, there's 11 of them. I see it. Welcome to... To the anonymous listeners, we'd love to have you. I definitely have a little bit of FOMO this week. Um, everybody's on that WPT cruise. Um, a lot of my friends are, and 
unfortunately, I just could not get aboard. But anyway, maybe next year. Looks like everybody's having fun. I did see Towley. I mean, Matt Savage got on there, so not all is lost, I guess. What's the deal? Matt Savage is Tally, Shay? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, he accuses me of being Tally, and I accuse him of being Tally. <laughs> uh, I see how this goes. So uh, it's kind of funny. I'm really kind of thinking about doing something um, when I go meet with him in June. I'm really kind of thinking about doing something that would be kind of fun as far as Tally is concerned. But I'm going to keep that under my hat. And we'll see what's going on. Well, I just want to say I appreciate everybody joining us today. Um, Donna's not feeling too good, so I'm just going to blab away. Um, you know, when I put that tweet up this morning, a lot of people were DMing me or even putting on the D on the tweet. So is this, you know, an April Fool's joke? What's going on? Come on, Sherry, blah, blah, blah. And the messages I've been getting have been hilarious. So I appreciate that. But I just want to tell you guys, April Fool's, it definitely was an April Fool's joke. And I gotcha. <laughs> So I appreciate y'all joining me this afternoon. And um, I just thought I would have fun with it because we've talked about it, you know, on and off in the spaces. And, you know, I even joked about, oh, what if he comes back on April Fool's, you know? So I thought I would take advantage of the situation and uh, pull a little April Fool's joke on you guys. So April Fool's. I was hey. wondering what we were going to talk about for two hours, Sherry. <laughs> I was like, is this really going to take two hours? No, I got a basketball game to watch. As a matter of fact, I was like, oh, my God, the game is on and I got to do this space and we're going to make this quick and have some fun with it. So I appreciate okay. y'all uh, joining us and uh, I hope you got a kick out of it. Yes, sir. It's funny because my wife, she heard like part of like when we were talking at the beginning and she said, what's going on now? And I. So I said, I said, remember when Poker Pro Eric left? And she said, yeah. I said, well, he supposedly, he's, he's supposed, Sherry's going to be doing a space with him as he returns back to spaces. And she says, oh, really? I said, well, we, we're, it's easy. she's either doing a space with them or we're going to find out this is just an April Fool's joke. I love was, it. Was what I said to her. So Bobby's, I'll let her know. Bobby's read was dead on too. So. Well, there were quite a few people that um, thought it was uh, April Fool's joke and, you know, some that fell for it. And you know what? If we can't have fun, what are we doing here, you know? And, um, oh, Bobby had something smart to say. The entire world knew it was real. Was it real? Okay, Bobby, thanks for showing up, bud. Appreciate hey, you. I, uh, I'm okay because I, I still don't have to pay him the fantasy football money. <laughs> I think that's going to come uh, come about sooner or later. He's going to be um, having his hand out for that. Go ahead, Brandon. I told Fats earlier, he's got all that money invested in charcuterie trees. <laughs> I love it. Poor Brandon was one of the ones, the first one to say, he, it, you know, he knew it was an April Fool's joke. And I'm like, be quiet, Brandon. Don't spoil it. Oh, we, it's been a fun day with it. That's for sure. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I it took me so much to just shut up. It takes me a lot to shut up. Yeah, we know. We you know. Got me. Thanks. You got Thanks. me for a little bit, Sherry. I know. I got several of people retweeted it, and it. I every time somebody retweeted, I just would giggle. Um, you know, poor Frank is like, "Don't tease me with this." <laughs> it's just been, it's just been fun. I hope you guys thought it was fun because I sure did. Yeah, you just crashed my space, but other than that, yeah, totally cool, <laughs> Jerry. Totally cool. <laughs> hey, but, you knew uh, it was Sarah, coming is, at four thirty. Really, is, is he really unblocked? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He definitely. Donna can tell you. He definitely came up to me at South Point in December and apologized. 
So yeah, he's been unblocked for sure. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to mute everybody. I didn't do that when I was hosting my space. I'm just saying. <laughs> Somebody's bitter. <laughs> Somebody's bitter, Sherry. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with Sherry. I I I don't care at all. I'm just. Messing with poor Sherry, Brandon all. has been. He's been biting at the bit the whole day because he's been in other spaces where they've talked about it, and he was trying to keep the secret and uh, keep it going. And so it's kind of been comical. His messages have really been. Um, comical for sure. Um, so I've been tr trying to figure out the best way not to oversell it, but not to say, no, she's ever fooling you, you know, like somewhere in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. I saw him, you know, nothing like that, but you know, it was, yeah, it was tough. I, I think this was a good one, Sherry. There's, 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 there's two things that two times that we've done a joke that I didn't think <laughs> turned out too good is one time uh, we gave my friend's dad a fake lottery ticket and he scratched it off and it was like a $50,000 winner. Uh -oh. And we thought that would be hilarious. But the whole thing is you don't really think about like when you tell him that it's a joke. So we let him go through like the visions of where he was going on vacation and all this stuff. And he literally wanted to kill us. Like, he was so pissed. Aww. And then the second time is that my brother, we had this running joke that I was going to give him an iPad if he would come over and help fix the network at work. And and so I, it was always a joke, you know. And then so one, one Christmas, I got him this, you know how, like, they have the display model that's, like, not really a, an iPad. Right. It's like a dummy thing. And so I gave him that. And he looked at it, he, and he was, like, almost, like, crying. He was, like, oh. this is, like, the nicest present anybody's ever gotten me. Oh, my God. And like, That's terrible. I, I felt so bad. You're you brutal. Know? So, yeah, don't, uh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't do jokes where people are going to, like, really think they got something super cool. Oh, that's brutal. All right, so, Eb, welcome. I'm sorry, where's Poker Pro Eric? <laughs> April Fools. No, this is wrong. I, I feel like there's a line and you crossed it. <laughs> so, he, I told you there is one line. There is okay, what's, what's, what's going on, Brian? Hey, pretty good. I thought that was funny yesterday. You should like comment, and I'm totally laughing. And then everybody else starts taking it all seriously and stuff. I was just like, Oh well, as long as as long as you thought it was funny, <laughs> I as long as you thought it was funny and you weren't offended, I don't really care what anyone yeah. else thinks. Yeah. So. Well, I wrote this like post, and then everybody, and then and then everybody was like, "Are you serious?" And then I was like, "Yeah, how do I really feel about this, and why do I feel that way?" You know, like. You know, what? it's it's okay. Really you talk. feel you feel this way because there's a lot of things on the internet that are just there to get you mad. I and think so. Um, I think so. And and some and sometimes uh, sometimes you take the bait. It's I, okay. I we we've so. we've all been there. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Have I think honestly, this space is uh, a sp is proof of that. I I think so. You know, like think about like this. <laughs> yes, I I fell for it. I definitely fell for it. <laughs> I think like think think about this like like in 20 seconds we just like kind of talked about this whole thing versus versus like these nonverbal communications right where where people like take things way out of context and you know or whatever you know or or they they see they they see something and they take it out of context and now their response is very much you know like very like dialed up you know and nobody can get along because you've got this whole thing of everybody just always thinking the other side is just completely crazy. And it's unfortunate because uh, it's serving no purpose for anybody, right? Yeah. Yeah. I see Jonathan joined us. Come on, Jonathan. Yeah, I was 95% sure it was April fools, but the only thing that made it somewhat believable was that, you know, if there was a prop bet, that you know it could have been like the first three months of the year off of spaces or you can't come back till april 1st so good one <laughs> thank you sir appreciate you 
Hey, Hex, come on and join us. Nice try, guys. I think this is a double bluff. I think the real joke is that he is going to turn up tonight. You well, know, well, yeah. He's definitely in here. There are five other listeners down there. So I'm not buying it. This is a double bluff. I'm calling it out now. Eric will be here in five minutes. I love it. I I hope he is because it would be fun if he turned up. My kids were laughing. My daughter said, Mom, if he shows up in the space when you're going to announce it's a joke, that would be epic. And I was like, uh, yeah, it really kind of would be uh, kind of funny. But anyway, uh, I was just trying to have a little fun today, you guys. Thanks for playing along. The only worst app on my phone on the Twitter app is that stupid pineapple app. What's the stupid pineapple app? Oh, wait, should I ask that question? Wait. <laughs> I'm getting completely undressed by Soheb and Open Face Chinese. I... No, not like that. No, no, no. I was like, wait a minute. He's killing me in Open Face Chinese. Jeez, you guys take everything literally. You said it. I mean, you said it right after. Should I ask? I said what I said. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sean McCormick. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I just got one from him. Did Sean McCormick get that strawberry Julius back there at Bellagio <laughs> yet? <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. So, Ab, what were you saying, hon? I'm sorry. We cut you off. Oh no, no worries. It was uh, I'm playing uh, pineapple against Brandon actually on uh, on the app. I love that. I love that. So fun. If 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 anybody ever just wants to get murdered at a card game, play play him in in this game. I don't even know how to play it, so it wouldn't take much to murder me in that game because I know nothing about it. One of these days, I'm going to learn it. Is Fat here to pay back Eric his money? Not anymore. <laughs> is, is that why you turned up, Fats? Just on the off chance? <laughs> no, I, I turned up just to see if it was real or not, just yeah, out of curiosity. Uh, that's funny. You can tuck that envelope back in your breast pocket. That's safe for another day. Listen, Whiskey, I'm sorry, Whiskey Sours. He says, I thought it was real. It's not April Fool's here in Australia. The rest of my day is rude now. Sorry, Whiskey. <laughs> That's funny. I think we're both going to fail, so... Um... That was, Brandon, wasn't that like the first thing I asked today when I came in the space? Was, was it, is this a, was this a real thing or was this just a practical joke, that tweet? That here's what you don't understand. Where I come from, snitches get stitches. Amen. <laughs> no, I'm just asking if I said that when, when I came into your yes, space today. that was the first thing you said, yes. And That's I said, all, you I'm don't pretty understand. sure it is. I'm, I'm almost sure. Yeah, you don't have to tell, say what anybody said, but. I wasn't saying nothing. I've never seen anything. I've never said anything. I've never heard anything. Damn, it sounds like you're under question, under the cups. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything. How you now, actually, now? I knew it was an April Fool's joke because Poker Pro Art called me earlier to tell me. You might fall under question. Ah, uh, see? That's, he didn't snitch this time. Good for you. Yo, Sherry, how are you? Are you here in Florida in front of the Harbor Casino? Hi, honey. I am in Washington State still. I'll be here through June. I want to ask Soheb, is, is, he, is, is he planning to come is here because I rented a new apartment here? here? Okay, time out. Soheb, can you hear Alec? <laughs> Soheb, can you hear me? Alec, I'm happily leaving. Come okay. back to hear my boy. Okay. So hard. Not being able to hear Alec is a good thing, usually. Hey, Alec, so have had to leave and come back. Come back. Don't call it a comeback. He's been here for years. Oh, Jesus. So happy is the only Arab that I love in the world. He's a nice guy. 
such a nice guy. I oh, wish all the Arab would like him. We would never have words ever. The only Arab I love. Wow. Now there's yeah. one that I love. If he was, if he, if all the Muslim people were like Sohab, there would not be wars. Yo, Sohab, are you coming to the Hard Rock? I have a new apartment. Okay, I, I gotta go. See you guys. Bye, bro. Sohab. <laughs> that is the nicest thing anyone has ever said about Muslim. <laughs> Yo, Sohab, I rented a sick apartment yesterday. Sick one. It's close to the hard road. You can smoke inside. If you come here, I can hook you up. Save you money on hotels. And save you headaches, because in the hotels, it's not good to smoke. Well, that's a nice offer. I mean, what do you mean you offer? No you think what? he's not paying? Next post Sherry makes is going to be that she 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 uh, solved the whole uh, Middle East peace negotiations here on Spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, if Sohab comes if Sohab comes for a day or two, he can stay for free. But if he comes for a week, I charge the that Arab money. I'll listen to you. I'll listen to you, Sohab. When are you going to the basketball? When's the? Is it next week? Um, I'm not just going. Oh no! I'm not. No, I uh, I went to I went to the Big East games, but uh, wasn't able to go to Boston. Um, and it. definitely not going to Phoenix. It's just too far and and way too expensive. Okay, cool. So, yeah. It it doesn't feel like college basketball prices. Like I mean, I uh, like some some of my uh my cousins that that go to UConn are not even able to get tickets, and they had season tickets to the games. But uh, the NCAA really doesn't treat like students well when it comes to these tournaments. Like they they have a student section, but it's usually just rich alumni. Right, right, right. And um, like the students are really uh, priced out from going. Like the tickets are. Like the, the prices are very hindering. Well, and they also don't um, a lot for many students. Like it's not like their typical home game where they're given like, you know, two thousand tickets. It they uh, definitely right. cut down the number of tickets available to students. Oh yeah, yeah the the yeah the blocks of tickets that they have are much smaller as well. But um, the UConn games uh, for the Elite Eight and the Sweet Sixteen were in Boston, which is only uh, like an hour and a half from the campus. So that felt like a home game. Yeah. It sounded like a home game on TV. Nice. How fun. How fun. Love it. Were, were you at the uh, the Gonzaga game, the, the men's game, or the women's game? I was game? at the women's game. Okay. Yeah. They they were playing they were playing in Spokane. Yes. Okay, gotcha. So we actually got to see the first two rounds. Yeah. So it's it was quite nice. No, that's all. That sounds like yeah. fun. We were hoping the men would have hosted too, but no such luck. Uh, they'll be back. Gonzaga is just like a staple for the uh, for the tournament. Well, and I agree with you, but um, you know, there's been mumblings for what about a year now that they might move to different conferences, and that's going to be a rude awakening for Zad fans because they're used to being number one in the WCC, right, West Coast Conference. Yeah. Um, yep. And if they go to a bigger conference, they're not going to be number one. You know, they're going to have to. What 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 con what conferences are looking to uh, to pull Gonzaga? In? Well, pro uh, I don't know if you guys can hear them yelling in my in the living room, but uh, <laughs> games on yeah, in the back. They're yelling at the girls' game. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I have it on. It's on so mute. funny. Probably Big yeah, Twelve. Yeah, it was Big Twelve, um, and they're still talk in talks. So. It'll be interesting to see, you know, but the problem is now too many want to move. And so it's going to be interesting to see how it all falls out. Oh, I'm chill, wankers. <laughs> you hear them yelling? <laughs> They're yelling and screaming over here, watching the girls game. Good grief. It's Amanda's birthday today, so we all went out together and 
came back in time for the space and for the, uh, the game. Well, as long as you're home in time for spaces, everything's right? good. Right. That's what I just was thinking about. So, what is going on? When is when is your right? When is the Arab King arriving to uh, South Florida? Why do you sound like a like an air traffic controller right now? No, I'm saying, what time are you coming here? In the week, two weeks? I know. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be there April 18th. Okay, good. Copy. <laughs> Over and out. I want to get the whole crib ready for the king, the WSOP bracelet winner, WPT champion, 14 rings, fucking Muhammad Ali. Oh, bro, they, should, they, should, they, should hire, they should hire you to introduce me at the at the Thunderdome this year. It might be like, table. I'll be like, I'm not even being introduced by uh, my Jack Apple. You bring in my boy, Alec, or I'm not even showing up. Everybody, welcome the best player of all time from Connecticut, PGA Fan 52. AK Spew coming to rape your motherfuckers right now and call for bed with eight four off food. Choose a different word. Phrasing. Phrasing. <laughs> Brian, did you have something you wanted to add? Yeah, I think that would get Alec banned from the uh, WSOP. He'd be Again, don't forget to say again. What can, again don't forget to say again. What, what, what can they do to him that they haven't done to him in the past? Not many people get a chance to get the M twice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's so many people that are jealous that Alec was able to get unbanned, and they were. <laughs> How did, yo, I got unbanned. It's, 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 it's divine providence. Imagine me and Phil Hellman in a WSOP day four main event on the same future table. Oh my God. Of, I, was, I was literally just imagining that. What? Oh, is that what you got banned for? The amount of shit that I will talk to Phil Hellman on the table, it will be insane. Okay, Alec, now you got to tell the people why you got banned. You brought it up. From what? The WSOP or from... Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I berated yes, a dealer. Yes, first the WSOP. I, we'll start with the WSOP. I guess I berated a dealer. Boo. Boo. Keep him banned. Ban him forever. Ban him from everywhere. Yeah. Some dealer, some dealer, dealer still do, you know? All right. And then you got, how long were you banned for before you got the unbanned? My, my my story of getting banned from Mohegan Sun, Connecticut, is better. Yeah, well, let's let's listen to this story. All right. Sir. All right. So I was I was playing one two, waiting for a two five seat to open up, obviously. Um, and uh, this guy angled me on the river. Um, what happened was I was I was shuffling my chips in my hand, and one of them fell and rolled over the line, and the guy turned over his cards because one chip crossed the line. And, uh, and he's like, no, you called. You threw in a chip. And I'm like, I did no such thing. I, I was shuffling my chips, and one literally got away from me. All right, yeah, but when the chip uh, fell off, you should have said, I'm sorry, and pick it up. Uh, and uh, I told him, I'm like, like you, you can go to the tape. Like, they're, they're never, they're never going to take your side. And even if they do, I'm never paying. Uh, so they went to the tape, and they took his side, <laughs> and I got banned. Because obviously, I'm not paying him. It was like thirty-three dollars, by the way. I, I got banned from a weekend. That's so withered. Um, <laughs> Wait, but when the and, uh, and, and I, I never wrote an appeal letter back, so I'm I'm, I'm still banned from my home casino uh, after. But wait, years. when the chip falls down, you could just say sorry right away, and then it doesn't count. Yes, it doesn't count. But he saw it fall, and he immediately turned over his cards, saying, "Pay." Me. He turned over the nuts. I think, That's so sick. I think the correct ruling there is that. The chip that rolled off has to stay in the pot, but you don't have to call anymore. No, it's not true. Yeah, if it was, you know if what? It was like maybe if that was the ruling, I still probably wouldn't have given it to him. 
No, you can't have the chip fall down the got face. Oh, you get over two dollars. Would have been a better story. It's all about the judgment. Yeah, but I don't think you can it. take it out of the pot once it's rolled across the it's line. It's all about that. the judgment of the dealer. If the dealer sees that it fall down by mistake, he could he could rule it. Oh, guys, I'm I'm by no means saying I was right or wrong. I'm just I'm just telling you why. I no, no, it's fine. But judging is. I just think I just think the dealer's job is the dealer should decide if you, you know, if you threw the chip and uh, like you meant to throw the chip or it fell off your hand. If the dealer saw that it fall off your hand as a mistake it's for sure not a call because you can angle him too by for like when you wait why why is why is there a letter on my desk uh for alec alec bro this this one's for you what what yeah that's what i'm alec has had me blocked alec having me blocked is a tragedy he's had me blocked for 10 years give or take can you unblock my brain? <laughs> ten, 10 years is a long time bro who did i block who is it maddie s maddie s where are you at raise your hand i don't even see you are you listening anonymously if, if he's listening anon anonymously don't don't unblock him that's that's scum shit right there. he was in here a minute ago oh wow 10 years all right, show okay, your face, Anon. Oh, oh, Kosher Maddie, yes, there he is. I don't look at that. I don't see him. He wants to get unbanned so badly, he added Kosher to his name just for you. <laughs> Where is it? I don't see. I don't see. I see Avi. Yeah, I don't see Kosher. Avi, yeah, Avi is a fellow tribesman. That's fun. Matty S. Unbanned Matty S. Why do you have Matty S banned, Alec? I don't know who he is. He's from South Florida. You guys would be best friends if you if you didn't Tell have him to Tell him to buy some weed from you and I'll block him right now. <laughs> if anybody wants Sherry Dippity. He said he said he'll buy he'll buy he'll buy from you if you unblock him. It's, okay, it's now where's that? Seems like tell, him, tell him I'm in, tell him I'm in front drugs. of the hard dog. Tell him I'm in front of the Hard Rock right now in Humus Vegas. <laughs> tell him I'm in I'm in Humus Vegas and tell him to come here. Tell him to come to Humus Vegas right now. I'm right here. It's in front of the Hard Rock Casino. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the trying to see something, Brian? Yeah, yeah. Just if anybody else, if, if anybody wants Sherry to unblock them. Go ahead and drop a letter on Soheb's desk as well, because she really likes to get those requests. It's funny you said that. I got one when we started this space, and I had to unblock somebody so they could come in. Because uh, Brian wow. knows how much I love that bullshit. <laughs> but I did today. I'm feeling gracious today. At, at least you unblocked the one major celebrity who wouldn't come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't come on. She's got me blocked. Yeah. So hard. <laughs> so hard. What do I need to do so hard? To, Hello, so hard. What do I need to do to make you play in the club? Um, I'm not really playing poker much these you days. You want me to write, you want me to write free Palestine on my status and on Facebook? I want you to tweet it. If I tweet free Palestine, you're gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's... You will send slate off tomorrow, the Alec. Tomorrow, Alec. You the eighty five dollars he sent today. to my rabbi. He sent eighty five dollars to my rabbi and he won two hundred and sixty thousand because of that. Love it. I mean, you know, I, I I also went to Friday prayer at mosque before I won that. So uh, no, I know, I know, but you got some Jewish, you got some Jewish luck. We'll, 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 we'll let everyone share credit for that. But you got some Jewish luck, like literally. I bought with an eighty-five dollars a mezuzah. Buddy, I'll will tell you, I've I've had nothing but Jewish luck my whole life. I know you have a lot of Jews that love you. You have a lot of Jewish friends. Let me, I can give you right now off the back five Jews that you love. You ready? Oh God! You like you like you like Slay, right? You like Ari Engel. Do you like Ari Engel? Ari is amazing. What a guy! Wait, why did Sohab start to shutting the fuck up? Hello. 
Oh, I think he lost connection, hon. He's no longer in here. Yeah, as soon as I ask him a question that he don't want to answer, he lost connection. Mm -hmm. Really weird. Well, he likes all he'd been people. talking to you. I don't think that's the reason. He just showered me. Go ahead, Brian. Okay. Where is the guy that's going to buy wheat from me? Because I'm leaving in 10 minutes. I'm not staying here anymore. How are we going to get it to world peace if... Uh... We only have half the the wor world peace in the Middle East. How are you going to get it? Yeah, we, I have an idea. I have an idea. How about kill all the people that want terror and want to like explode in the World Trade Center or kill innocent people? First, start just to uh, you know like bust them out of the tournament. All right, let's move on to a different <laughs> subjects because I am not going to promote that. Do Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mute button. Go ahead, Don. Siri's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> go ahead, Don. No, I'm, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night, Don. Good night, Donna. Good night, Alec. Good night, everybody. Good night. Love Good you. Night. Good night, love you. Bye. No, Sherry, so what's up? Are you going to tell me what to do or what? As far as what? Okay, first of all, how to go out with blue. Second of all, how to sell weed and make some money to this guy. And third of all, um how to play good today in a cash game session all right let's break it down first of all blue i want you to go read her tweet that she made today about her partner in life and i think that's going to answer a lot of your questions she came to the space a few days ago all ghetto yeah yo you motherfucking this motherfucking that okay that's first. Second of all, okay, we'll go to our Twitter later. Second, what did I ask you second? Oh, where's the guy that wants to buy f weed from me so I unblock him? Okay, so that was Maddie S, and he did not message me. He messaged uh, Saheb. So that's Maddie S. And Maddie S, if you're in the listeners group, anonymous listeners, come into the space so you could talk to Alec and figure that shit out for yourself. What was your third question, Alec? How do I play good today and run good to win uh, 1K and 2-5? All right. So uh, make sure you're rested. Make sure you've had something to eat. Make sure you've said a little prayer and go in with your best game face. Woo! What a, what a great advice. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. Software, how you doing, bud? I'm good. I'm looking for this tweet that you said. Although I, I, I already know the uh, part of it. But. Right. Yeah. He can. He can. Yeah. Anyway. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I have. I, yeah. Uh, fats. Do I even stand a chance anymore, Fats, in this little pool of yours, your little uh, March Madness uh, free roll? He may have stepped away from his phone. Sherry, Sherry. Something before I go, Sherry? Yes, sir. I'm 40 years old. What is my chances to marry a 22 or 24 year old girl? Because a girl when she's 34 and she didn't get married, so it's, it's already a red light. Like, bitch, you're 35. You didn't get married yet. Well, we could still say that about you, bitch. You haven't been married. Yeah, you're not married. Yeah, yet, but Alec. like it's a common thing when a guy is like 60 and marry a 24 year old, or a guy is 45 marry a 23 year old. But a girl that's like 40, she's not married a 22 year old. Well, times are changing, but I'm just going to say to you, Alec, that I think you need to close the age gap for what you're looking for, and it should at least start with a three. Uh, What's the difference if I love the girl when she's 22? If she's 22 and I love her, there will be arguments in the house, and I'll be able to tell her, hey, I could be your father. Shut the fuck up, you know? Well, that would be a problem. I don't see that lasting very long. Now that sounds romantic. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's going to last for long and if that's what you've been doing you may want to evaluate to pass relationships well yeah but a 23 year old, a 23 -year -old she doesn't have a lot of opinions you know i seen this video i'm sorry i'm going to be a little bit rude but there's a video she said this girl she's super beautiful i forgot her name she's famous and she's on a podcast and she goes like my man gives me everything i get all the shoes 
I get all whatever I want, gifts, money. He's he's hooking me up, but I also do my thing as a woman. I cook, I clean, I suck, I fuck, I shut the fuck up. That's what she said. Well, Alec, I you know, times have been changing, and so those women are farther and few between. But if that's what you're looking for, but continue your search. No, no, I'm looking for a girl that after that I could talk to her for a long time because the best relationship is people that could sit and talk for it. That's why I think poker player girl, if she's good in poker and she's not a fish, it's a good relationship because you can literally like talk hand histories with her. Because it's really annoying me when I talk hand history with people and they like start like arguing about like let's say I'll tell them a hand that like few of the greatest players in the world I already bought. Well, I don't think, male or female, you're going to find that many people that are really that interested in talking poker history with you. Alec, you cut out, bud. You're lo losing your service. We cannot hear you. Darn it. That's a shame. Well, we'll see if he comes back from the Matrix. Brian, did you have something to add? Are we still going to be here? <laughs> Not much longer. I like to see the end of the game, or did I already miss that? Brian, do we lose you too? No, no, I'm here. I was just listening. Crazy, right. crazy. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm going to end this uh, April Fool's joke with a thank you. Appreciate y'all going along with the fun. Um. And I hope you have a great evening. Thanks, Sherry. Or Sherry, you could Sherry, you could leave it open and we'll all leave. And then when Alec comes back, I'll just keep trying to talk. I like to it. Go ahead, you guys. Go ahead. Everybody leave. I'll leave it open. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Bye, you guys. Thanks. Uh, goodbye.